Hey guys, this is Bliss Reviews and today I'm here with another Disney Deluxe Storybook Review. And today I have a Disney Princess, The Little Mermaid, The Story of Ariel. So, before I begin with the review, let me tell you guys, this books have amazing illustrations. And yes, these books were produced back in January 2016. And I cannot wait to show you guys these books. So yes, let me begin with the review. So, the book is aquash in color. And then, uh, it has a big picture of Ariel. And she's glossy. The background is totally matte. And up here, it says Disney Princess, The Little Mermaid. And it has a shell and it says the story of Ariel. And it is glossy as well. At the back of the book, we can see there is Ariel and Flounder, and they're playing, and they're glossy as well. And at the top of the book, we can see Disney Princess, and then it has a shell again, and then it says, Dive under the sea and into Ariel's enchanting world, featuring a sea witch and her spells, dinglehoppers, and mermaids. This deluxe storybook retailing of classic animated film is a treasure to behold. And then Ariel says, A part of your world. And down here we can see barcode and then it says Disney Press yep this books are produced by Disney Press and then it says copyright 2016 Disney Enterprises Inc or rights reserved disneybooks.com so let us open the book and have a better look on the inside so here it is again with the aqua color and then it has waves and starfish and then we can see sparkles and there is a place where you can write the name and then we can see flounder and sparkles again and then it says Disney princess the little mermaid the story of Ariel and then we have Ariel this books have a really glossy pages so yeah so again we can see sparkles and it says explore new worlds and then we have other details where this book was manufactured So here begins the story, and if you want to read the story, please pause the video uh, and I'll be as slow as possible to turn the pages. So here we can see Atlantica, we can see Ariel's sisters, and King Triton, and Sebastian, and more people. And here's Ariel, and she has had gone to explore a sunken ship. And then she, she finds a fork. And some human stuff so she goes to scuttle to know all about it because he's a self-proclaimed human expert and here is Ursula who is a stalking Ariel and Ursula is my favorite Disney villain she looks amazing and these books have amazing illustrations they're so vibrant and colorful and they're really accurate and really you know matching up to the movie So this is Ariel's grotto, and there's Sebastian, because he was sent by King Triton. And here's Ariel, she finds a ship. So she goes to explore, where she finds Eric, and she falls in love as soon as she sees him. <coughs> a storm struck. Here's Ariel saving Eric. Now, look at this, got all looking for heartbeat that's quite a silly board look at these illustrations my goodness they are so beautiful like really accurate to the movie scenes now this is when King Triton is really mad and he destroys all the Ariel's treasures and she's heartbroken and that's when the pets of Ursula, Flotsam and Jutsum, gets a chance to lure Ariel and take her to Ursula's cave. And this is Ursula's cave. Down there are the poor unfortunate souls. Now this is the deal that Ursula makes. And this is how Ursula takes away Ariel's voice and traps it in her seashell. These scenes are like so beautifully illustrated. I'm just in awe. 
and Eerily is turned into a human and she has legs now and her friends agree to help her now first Scuttle tells her that if you want to be a human you gotta dress like one and Ariel does not have to go far because she finds Eric very easily because Eric also has been looking for Ariel and he takes to her I mean he takes her to the castle and takes care of her and I hope you can read the story now this is the next day when Eric takes Ariel tour of his kingdom Ariel is totally amazed and this is the blue lagoon where just everything is magical the colors the lights the singing and everything and here's Ursula working on her plan she just sabotages Eric and Ar Ariel's mood by pushing their boat off and here's Ursula transforming and this is when Ursula casts a spell on Eric with Ariel's voice Ariel is so happy that she is finally going to get Eric but then it turns out that Eric is about to marry a girl named Vanessa and she does not know that the girl is Ursula actually and this is when Scuttle discovers and tells Ariel and that's when she jumps into the water so that she could save herself from getting trapped from the wicked witch for her now before she could say her vows Ariel's friends just helps Ariel and as soon as the she shell breaks Ariel's voice returns back and then they lean to kiss but then it's too late and that's when Vanessa turns back into Ursula and says it's too late now this is Ariel in a real form and back in the ocean her father appears and then Ursula makes another deal with King Triton that she would release Ariel if he would take place of her. And then Triton is turned into this un poor unfortunate soul and then Ursula takes the crown and the trident and she's now the queen of the seven seas. Now this scene is when Ursula accidentally kills her pet and then she grows angry and turns herself huge and monstrous and when she creates a storm and whirlpools a boat a sunken boat comes up and then that's when Eric grabs his chance to kill Ursula with a jagged bow and here's this is after Ursula's death when everything turns back to normal uh, the trapped poor unfortunate souls are turned back and King Triton is once again the king and then he watches uh, sadly that Ariel actually loves this human so he turns her into a human and look at this she is turned into a human with clouds this time and she reunites with Eric and that's when they happily live ever after marrying so yeah, this ends the story and there are sparkles and it says to be continued. I hope they bring out the book for The Little Mermaid 2 and 3 as well. So guys, here's my The Little Mermaid Deluxe storybook. I hope you guys liked it. And I was so eager to show you guys these books because these books are amazing and I'm in awe and I'm in love with these books. So yeah, uh, please do like and subscribe. And yes, I have more of these kind of books coming, so stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching.